you have any religion or no. do you believe in a God? Vaguely. Vaguely? Okay, is that from your upbringing or from society or? Do you mind if we record? Sure, sure. You can record. Thank you, sir. So you said you believe in a, a God, but vaguely. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, what does that mean? <laughs> I think that there is an energy that's like love okay. and it creates life. Okay, so... But I don't... I can't say what it is. Okay. It's just life energy. I don't want to personify it. Okay, I understand. So you say that there's some power that put us here and do you think that there's a continuous relationship or it's just it made and it sat back? I think we can have a relationship with that based on reflection and uh, prayer. Okay. And do you think that this power, I mean commonly they call they refer to the power as God, yeah. but do you think that this power or this source of life uh, created or made for a purpose or no purpose? Good question. Purpose? Yeah. I like to think we... Purpose is... Um, like... No, re regardless of what the purpose is, but just before that, do you think that, that it made us for a purpose or no purpose? I think we're here. Yeah. For a purpose. Yeah. I would say that these things are, to believe in a God, to believe in there must be a purpose, I would say that this is actually something which is like hardwired, it's in the human being. Whether we accept it or we choose to ignore it, etc., or we reject it, but it's actually hardwired. Then the question comes, do so we have a, a higher power, referred to as God, then we have a purpose, there should be a purpose. Do you think that we have been in, informed of this purpose or do you think that we've been left that everyone should, uh, without being rude, wander in blindness looking for the purpose? Some people find it, some people don't find it. Or do you think that we would be actually informed? What would be reasonable? <laughs> to be informed so that we can live the best life we can yes. and not feel lost. Yes. Yeah. And how would that, uh, how would you think would be a, an expected or a reasonable way for us to be informed? Apart from people in Stratford giving out leaflets. <laughs> <laughs> what is the purpose of life? We, yeah. was, we would say that the, the, the purpose would be messengers and books. So as, as Muslims we believe like for example Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and as Muslims after Jesus, we believe in a another messenger, Muhammad, peace be upon them, on them all. But we believe that they they were, how would you say, they're, the, they're from the best of their people, they're from the most noble families, they had the best traits of character, and they were chosen by God to deliver a message. And the message is very simple, to record, Basically, the message is to recognize one God, to live our life the way one, uh, this one God wants, and that one day we're going to be returned to Him and we're going to be judged. That's the, the simple message. How does that sound? It's not my favorite message. Yeah. I don't think it's... I think there's beautiful things in the religion, but yeah. that message is very inspiring to me okay. for my purpose in life. Okay. So can you give me uh, an alternative, a better, a better option? Yeah, I think uh, loving the planet, people, uh -huh. and what's created here, um, experiencing nature, and being generous. I think there's ways to live that are uh -huh. make it better. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe those are some other tenets of it. But I think. But, but I would say that, Purpose. that your highest self. That I would say there's a point where you know the conversation everything seemed very uh, reasonable, logical. It made sense. But I think some people 
they don't want to pursue it because maybe they, they want to continue the way they are, are free rather than having to accept that an outer force has given me a purpose. But the, the thing is, from an Islamic point of view, the Quran mentions, uh, the Quran we believe, we believe prophets before were given revelation, which have been collected in the Bible, but we say that these books have been changed or forgotten or things have been added. I mean, this is a, an, another subject, but we believe the last message, the Quran has been sent down on the last messenger and preserved. It was sent down in Arabic. Anything else, French, English, Chinese, we would say is a translation. But the Quran itself is Arabic. So the Quran mentions, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّةِ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبَدُونَ God says, I did not create mankind, sorry, jinn, which is a separate creation of mankind, except to worship me. Now, worship, when we come from a European understanding of worship, is usually particular rituals. Islamically, the word ibadah, worship, it covers everything. So it covers, we pray five times a day, we fast in the month of Ramadan, a Muslim once in their lifetime, they will perform the pilgrimage to Mecca, but also, uh, for example, me going to work, earning money in an honest way, and then bringing this money, spending it on my wife and children, we will consider this worship. Uh, marriage, we will consider worship, taking care of our parents, we worship. And as you said, being generous, being kind, helping people, we will consider that this all comes under worship. Because worship is anything which we say God has commanded, as God is pleased with. But the thing is, you know, you, you said something earlier, that there should be a purpose, and God would give this purpose. So then, if, if God has given us a purpose, I mean, the, the claim that the Qur'an is from God, how does that sound to you? I mean, it's obviously a very big claim. <laughs> I think it's a great, great thing to do. It's a great interpretation of the Word of God. I think it's yeah. many, many religions, many ways of seeing it. And I understand, I think it makes sense to like have a sacred uh, rules and like worship the family, take care of each other, that's worship. Like everything we do could be worship if you see yeah. God in everything. And I think we, I, and a lot of people would benefit from more sacred, sacred parts of life. So uh -huh. I, I like that. Okay. I just don't. I could, I could live in a religion, but I don't think I could just really believe that's the one thing. But I, I think it's a language, and I respect it. And my okay. boyfriend's like Sufi or something. So okay. I like that ancient mysticism. Okay. But I am. Um, I don't know. I think it's interesting conversation, and I. Cool. I, I would say there's two things. Yeah. What? There's one thing is what we like. Oh, I like that. That seems nice. That seems good. That seems beneficial. That is also that's a consideration because we're human beings. But second is is and it doesn't have to be opposed. Is this what God wants? Because just for example, if I if I'm a, a Muslim because I like it, I like to pray. I like to keep a beard. I like. And I think it makes sense. That, that's one thing. But in reality, it's, it's more than that. We are Muslim because we believe it's true. And this is what God wants. So that would mean, for example... That what, would mean putting a power outside of us. Like, it's not about what I want. It's about what this uh, yes. God wants. And yeah, I've never considered that yeah. way of thinking ever. Yeah. I because, mean, I can think of being a... In alignment with uh, the way, the harmony of the world, but not never like what he wants. Uh -huh. Can I can I can I say something very interesting? Uh, in the Quran, chapter three, verse eighty-three, it asks a question. أَفَغَيْرَ دِينِ اللَّهِ يَبْغُونَ وَلَهُ أَسْلَمَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ تَوْعًا وَكَرْهًا وَإِلَيْهِ رَجْعُونَ. It, it's a question. It says. Is it other than the, the religion or the way of life of Allah that you wish? Considering that everything in the, the heavens and the earth has submitted to Him by choice or by force and we will return to Him. But just on a side point, the word Islam actually means submission. 
and we believe this is the religion of all the prophets. Like, we don't believe Moses came with Judaism. Judaism is actually a tribal name. You know, Jacob had 12 sons. Jacob was called Israel, the 12 sons of Israel. One of them was Judah. So this is a Jew, a tribal name. Uh, Christia, Christianity, Jesus never taught Christianity. Rather, this was something which the people called the followers of, of Christ. They called them Christian. But we believe all the prophets came with Islam. But back to the point I mentioned, if everything in there around us is submitting to this one power, this one God, which we know as Allah, like the fact that the sun, the moon, the day, the night, the seasons, the wind, the rain, uh, the fact that I become hungry, the fact that I become tired, that I live, I'm born, I'm going to die, everything is submitted by choice or by, uh, by necessity, by force. Therefore, we would say the only thing natural would actually to be, you know, as human beings, we have free choice. Like, for example, uh, a cow is a cow. It eats grass, it produces milk, that's what it does. A sheep is a sheep, uh, the sun is the sun, the moon is the moon. They have fixed, uh, they've been created, they have a fixed purpose, and they follow that purpose. But human beings, we have choice. So the point being, we submit to God in certain aspects, but then we have free will. I have a choice to be good, I have a choice to be bad, I have a choice to tell the truth, I have the choice to lie, and I have the choice to recognize God and submit to Him, or I have the choice to ignore Him, reject Him, or follow my own desires. That's the, the point of submission. It's not merely um, something which is nice, or I agree with. It's something which we say we have to, which I know is, it seems heavy. It seems like a, a very big uh, weight on our shoulders. But if it is reality, then we have to do it. If it's not reality, it should be easy to uh, disprove. There's a verse in Quran, chapter 2. No problem. There's a, there's a, I mean, you can stop me at any time, but. I have to go to the airport. No problem. If I just mention this one verse. It's uh, chapter 2, verse 256. It mentions uh, mm -hmm. It mentions that there's no compulsion in religion. I can't force you to follow a religion. You can't force me to stop following a religion, etc. You can't force people. Even if we force physically, you know, the heart, I, you can force me to do something, but my heart can reject it. But then it mentions, but the truth is clear from error. And whoever rejects all false gods, and he worships the one true God, Allah in Islam, then this person has taken hold of a firm handhold, which will never break. I don't know. It's a nice idea. Yeah. Can I give you something to read in your own time? Sure. Uh, bear with me. So this is a, an English Quran okay. and then some leaflets about the basics of Islam. Thank you so much. No problem, pleasure. Thank you for stopping. Oh yes, yeah, okay. we have one of those there. Thank okay, you. all the best. Nice to talk okay. to you. Thank you. Bye bye.